All right, a, into the still world, a journey continued. Let's see what we got. We've seen this in the previous trailer. King Rome and these two people, or not King Rome, King of Hyrule. Music's really cool. The land of Hyrule has been torn apart by mysterious rifts. Mm -hmm. In search of Link and the King of Hyrule, both of whom were stolen away, Princess Zelda must borrow the power of an ethereal creature called Tri. Together, they enter the tears that scar the land in order to save her kingdom. On her journey, Zelda will explore what lies within. That's such sick art. Holy shit. Oh, a Lionel. Lionel's this is the still world. Ooh. Here, trees, fragments of land, people and other items that were swallowed up by the rifts float in the void. It's said they will eventually vanish completely. Exploring the farthest reaches of this world is no easy feat. To do so, Zelda oh, will have wow. to traverse eerie, floating terrain. Because the path is broken up, the echoes you've learned can come in handy. Forge your own way forward by creating echoes to use as platforms to bridge the gaps. That's so cool. Massive dungeons can also be found Southern deep ruins. within the still world. Dark Zelda nuts. Not, well, we've seen those. And echoes to take on enemies and puzzles that stand in her way. Then confront challenging oh, wow. bosses who await her arrival. Like golem. What to do though? Overwhelm the boss with echoes? or combine them to find unique ways around the situation. That's cool. The strategy is yours to devise. The music is lit. Oh my God, the music is so good. The still world can be accessed through rifts scattered across Hyrule. And each entry point leads to a location with its own defining features. On her adventure, Zelda must overcome dungeons within the rifts and the mysteries they hold. Hmm. Without Link or the King, Hyrule's fate rests squarely in Zelda's hands. Whoa. Sword fighter form? She looks like Link! She's in Link's... Oh, she gets a sword. When Zelda finds and picks up a mysterious sword, a she mysterious takes on the sword. sword fighter form, allowing her to attack directly. Oh, there we go. There's the gameplay cover. Power, she can forge ahead when her path is blocked. I'm guessing this is limited time. Or battle alongside Echoes. Seeing Zelda with a sword and shield. She can only stay in sword fighter form for a short period of time. It's gonna be like a magic meter. Where you choose to wield this power is up to you. Level one. So I wonder how high it goes up to. The sword's gauge can be replenished by collecting energy found in the still world. So be sure to grab any you find. Interesting. Inhabitants of Hyrule. This is Dompe. Dompe! Who crafts clockwork gizmos in Hyrule. His extravagant creations are called automatons, and they can be activated by winding them up. They can unleash powerful effects that differentiate them from echoes. But be careful. Interesting. They'll break apart if they take too much damage. These are like actual items. You'll meet many other quirky characters during your travels, and there's no doubt they'll be of great help to the princess. Kitty cat. Oh, great fairy! Just hopping right over the trees. I like that it's like shifted, like they tilted 
tilted the uh, the rifts, the stuff in the rifts. Hey, there's another frog. To traverse and save Hyrule. Princess Zelda's wisdom is key to undertaking this adventure. Volvagia? The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Available September 26th only on the Nintendo Switch system. Did I just see that? Available now on Nintendo eShop. Dark Link. Holy shit. Interesting. Wow. Volvagia. Wow. Classic enemies. That was awesome. Wow, what a what a great trailer. 